today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing what um, Everly's first. Sorry, I forgot her name for a second. Okay, I'm going to be doing Everly's first feeding and I'm really excited. And, oh my gosh, I'm, I didn't change her yet. I think I'm just going to leave her in this and feed her, but she looks really cute. I just had her in here and I think I decided it's going to be the triplets bed, but I'm not sure if it's going to be Annie and Everly's bed. I kind of am thinking about making them twins. I don't think they should be twins, but I just, I mean, they don't really look like twins, but I feel like their names are just so cute together. Like, wait, like, they could be twins, I guess. Like, it could happen. I mean, I don't think they're going to be twins. I, they don't look like twins, but, like, I feel like it would be so cute if they were twins, because, like, Annie and Everly, it's, they're such cute as twins, but I think they're just going to be, like, the same age. I don't think they're going to be twins. I'm thinking about it. They may be twins, they may not be twins. But, yeah, that's Annie and Everly. But, their names are really cute together. So they might be twins, but, um, this also might be their bed, or the triplets bed, or probably be the triplets bed. But, moving on, this is going to be her first feeding, and I'm sorry that I didn't do, I'm not going to be doing a present opening, because, as you guys may know, if you saw the video, I did make Avery presents. So, those are Avery's presents. There's a hair there, sorry. But, um, Everly doesn't really have presents, sadly, but it's okay. We're going to do her first feeding today. So, I might feed her on the trampoline also today. I don't really know. I'm also going to be doing a meeting her siblings video today, by the way. But, yeah, there's a little thing right there. What even is that? Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, let's do Annie's first feeding. I'm really, really excited. So, these are all her accessories. I just have them in here for now. We need these, this stuff. Let me get the camera set up. One second. Okay, I got it set up on here. So, here's Annie. I mean, sorry. I keep calling her Annie. Here's Everly. And I don't actually need to put her on the potty because I'll show you guys later. But, if you've seen her unboxing video, you know why. So, I'm going to be making her food first. I think I'm going to make her little pink popsicle and I've seen some like videos with her so I know how she works so I've never actually felt her play-doh yet so this feels like normal play-doh so just gonna get it out here use the spoon okay so let's try to get it out <laughs> with the spoon whoa just got it on the floor that's fine okay I'm just gonna put it on top right there sorry okay I'm gonna try to scoop it out I do still have probably Snack and Sarah's Play-Doh somewhere, but I don't remember where it is. I also have Snack and Lily's Play-Doh somewhere, because I also have her. But I kind of want to get a new Snack and Sarah at some point, because I found like a newer version that I really want to get. But that's beyond the point, so let's try to make this popsicle. I know you're supposed to like cut it up and give it to her, obviously, because you can't just feed her the whole popsicle. That'd be weird, but okay. I'm just going to put it in here, just making her food. And she's going to be strictly, um, strictly, what was I going to say? Strictly Play-Doh baby. She's not going to have any solids because, well, any, like, liquids because she can't physically, well, not physically. She just can't have any solids because she just can't. And I'll show you guys why when I, like change her diaper but it's not actually changing her diaper when I take the food out of her technically it's just taking the food out of her okay that failed I messed up I forgot that you have to put the play-doh on each side and put and then put the stick in but I put the stick in last but this is what it looks like it looks really weird but that's what I that's what it looks like she can hold it also I and then you can also rip off these pieces so I'm just gonna rip off the piece now and then rip off the pieces so you can just rip off the pieces and feed them to her so I'm just gonna do that so okay got one piece I'm gonna give it to her so here here we go here we go go Everly did you eat it here there we go tip her back a little bit more I think she ate it and I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of feeding videos with her because just feeding her is so easy and simple and really fun you can just break up the pieces, by the way, guys. Like, I'm just breaking them up down there. But yeah, whoops. Okay, there we go. Let's get this, I'm just gonna use the spoon side. Don't wanna make them too big for her. Whoops. Is it in? They're down. 
Whoops. Beverly, take it. Take the food. That's so why they should have included Snack and Sarah's spoon because I should probably find her spoon since her spoon's probably going to be easier to feed her. But, yeah. Okay, you can also use this little, like, knife part to cut the Play-Doh. So that's kind of cool, but I'm just going to rip it because it's already sectioned out. Okay, and she's really fun to feed, like, the whole Play-Doh thing. It's really fun. Oh, sorry. I kind of want to get one of the Snack and Luke's just because. Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to give it to her because it's really hard to feed her with this spoon. Okay, I don't know if you guys are even be even able to see this well, but if you are, then that's good. Okay. I might, like, do a video where I, like, make her some fruit snacks because I think that would be really fun to make her little some little fruit snacks and feed them. Okay, there you go. Did you take it? There we go. I really like the little Play-Doh babies. They're fun. And I like the concept of her. I'm just gonna give it to her. There we go. I wish they included a better mold, though, because this is just a weird mold, I think. Here, let me move her up more so it's easier for you guys to see her eating. Did she eat it? Sorry, I gotta tip her back a little bit more. Okay. And a few more pieces, then I'm gonna probably... Maybe a little bit more pieces. I'm gonna rip this piece because it's a little bit big. Here we go. And like Snack and Lily's were a little bit more like. Sorry, just shoved my finger down her throat. Let's try that again. That's showing my finger down her throat. I'm gonna try feeding her with a spoon. It's a little bit harder to feed her with a spoon or the fork, but. Whoa, sorry. See, it's kind of hard to feed her with a spoon or the fork, but. It works. There we go. That one worked. Okay. And I think Everly fits her really cutely. I really wanted to get a blonde hair doll and name her Everly. And I just thought she was the perfect one because it fit her really well. I can't get it. This spoon is hard. Sorry, guys. But, okay. I'm going to get some more pieces here. And I really do like this doll. This doll is really cute. I love the whole Play-Doh idea of the doll. I love all the Play-Doh dolls they make, even though, like, it's obviously, like, not that, I mean, it's still cool, but it's not, I feel like sometimes it's just not as cool with the Play-Doh dolls, but I think this one is really unique. Sorry, guys. Just fixing that. Okay. Give you this piece. Sometimes you gotta tip her back to make sure she eats it, but it's okay. Is she eating it? Okay. So I think we're just gonna give her a few more pieces, and then we're gonna put her on the potty and she can go in the potty but not in the way you guys might think because she doesn't wear a diaper as I said in her opening video she doesn't wear a diaper okay so I think we're gonna give her two more pieces after this one and then I'll try to give it to her with her fork okay or er, yeah try to, let's try her fork real quick okay here we go Whoa, that didn't really work. Okay. And she can go in water, by the way, guys. As I said in her opening video. Okay, the fork is just not working. Okay. One more piece. Okay. Okay, so let's wrap up her Play-Doh food. The Play-Doh food is really cute. I really like the idea. I like that it comes with two as well. It's like little baby food containers. I really like the idea. It's really cute. Two little containers of food and then got her little this thing is cute i like how they have like this little pieces so it's different pieces of food okay so well, i'm gonna grab the potty real quick okay okay grab the potty i'm gonna take her skirt off her skirt thing and she has this little opening that you can open here and she will go potty i'm just gonna pretend sit around the potty now Okay, and you can open it and put it in the potty. She went potty. I think that's a really cute thing. I don't know. And you could obviously just refeed her. Of course, it's how you can do it for all baby lives. But refeed her and then, boom, it comes out right there. 
Obviously, it's kind of a weird concept, but I really like it because you could feed her a bunch of this stuff and then continue playing with her and then just change her after that. I feel like that's just, I feel like it's a really cool concept that Baby Live, I've never seen before Baby Live done, done before. Never seen them do this before, but I really like it. And then just collecting the plate out of the potty. But obviously a cleaner option for also better for like younger girls. Um, yeah, but also if you want to get the concept of like changing the diaper, this not this might not be the best toy. But if you just want to like get the concept of like feeding the girl, like feeding her, I think this is a really cute thing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm just going to put her skirt back on and... I might do, like, other videos where I feed her, like, I might try to make, like, some meals for her, like, make waffles. Whoops. Okay. I might try to, like, make some little waffles and then feed them to her. But, yeah, she's going to be a strictly Play-Doh baby because, as you might have seen, if you fed her liquids, it would just come right out. Because, like, obviously, there's places for liquids to come out there, so, um... It would be just really weird. I mean, technically, you probably could feed her liquids. It would just come out a really weird way. It would come out from her butt, not, like, down there. So, yeah, I just thought it would be really weird if I gave her liquids. And I just don't want to. I would like to have a strictly Play-Doh baby because I think... And I think this is the perfect baby to be a strictly Play-Doh baby. If I got another Play-Doh baby, which I... At some point, I'll probably get another Play-Doh baby. It will be a strictly... Like, it will not, it doesn't have to be Strictly Play-Doh Baby since I have this Strictly Play-Doh Baby, but yeah. And also, obviously, Snack and Sarah physically cannot have any other things besides, whoa, sorry, she just face planted. She physically cannot have any other things. But also, she has at the back that you can open up if you need to. And you can just open this up. And I like that they didn't do the screw so it can't rot or anything. You can open that up and... If any pieces get stuck inside of her, you can open her up and take that stuff out. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video of Everly's first feeding. And probably more videos of Everly coming later. So, yeah.